Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I am so, so excited to talk to you guys about today's video because I'm going to be talking about why Heartland could make TV show history by being one of the longest running TV shows of all time. So trust me, if you are a fan of Heartland, you are not going to want to miss this video. So make sure you uh, watch this video until the very end to find out how and why Heartland could go down in TV show history by being one of the longest running, if not the longest running TV show of all time. With that being said, Let's jump into today's video. Um, so I have talked to you guys a lot in the past about the way Heartland is formatted and the way it's written. And if you've been watching my videos recently, I've been talking a lot about the fact that it is written based on the generations. So say for example, I'll explain what I mean and make it simpler for you guys to understand. Seasons one through eight of Heartland were mainly focused on Jack. He was the main character of seasons one through eight. And I don't think I don't think anyone would argue that Jack is a amazing character and he is a fantastic addition to Heartland and is the heart of Heartland, to be completely honest. And then seasons uh, eight through I would say twelve are focused on Amy and Ty and then uh, growing their family, them uh, getting married, engaged and you know all that kind of fun stuff and you know starting their family and starting their life together and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm not saying that Amy and Ty uh, were not focused on in seasons one through eight either. I'm just saying that Jack was the main character uh, for that season, those seasons, and we got to see more and learn about his character, and he was really uh, the main character. But that's not to say that Amy and Ty were not focused on in seasons one through eight. They were just weren't the main characters, in my opinion. And then seasons uh, thirteen and most likely 14 are focused on Georgie. And I made a video talking about why Georgie is the most important Heartland character. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend you go watch it. I will have it linked at the end card of this video as well as, well as in the description. But in that video, I explained why she's the most important Heartland character right now and how her character will really uh, determine whether or not Heartland uh, gets uh, continued for many years to come. So I will basically summarize the video for you. All the character development that they give Georgie uh, in the coming seasons and season 13, uh, 14, 15, should we get one, 16, etc. However long they decide to make Georgie the main character, they have to make people fall in love with Georgie's character the way they do, they did Amy's character back in the early seasons. They need to make Georgie the new Amy. Now, I hear you guys getting mad, I hear you disliking the video, I see you disliking the video, I hear you leaving hate comments and screaming at me through the screen. I know, Georgie is not Amy. I'm not saying that she is. However, they need to make fans like Georgie's character just as much as they do Amy or else there will be no more Heartland. Georgie's character is the sole character that will determine how many more seasons of Heartland we get. So just like in season 13, they focused on Georgie's uh, relationship with Quinn and, you know, her real life struggles of, you know, deciding does she want to go to college? What does she want to do with her life? That is all things that provided character development for her character. And they really did a fantastic job, the writers of Heartland did a fantastic job um, focusing on her character and giving her way more character development in the form of relationships and just her growing up and becoming her own person. And this is not something, this kind of writing isn't something that you see a lot on TV shows anymore. What TV shows normally do now is when writers are writing the upcoming seasons or the next season or writing episodes in order, what they'll do is they already know how they want the complete story to end. They know that by the series finale, this is going to happen, this is going to include th these characters, this character is going to die, this character is going to that, this character is going to do this, this character is going to move there, or whatever the case may be. But with Heartland, I don't think, now please keep in mind I'm not affiliated with Heartland, I can't confirm what I'm saying, but this is just um, how I feel when I'm watching the show. I don't think the writers have that in mind. I don't think the writers have an idea of, yeah, by the end of the series, Jack is going to die, or by the end of the series, Amy's, Amy's going to die. They don't have that in mind. They may have a rough idea of how they want the show to end. Um, and how they would go about ending the series, and that is something you always uh, need to be aware of as a TV show writer. So I do think that they are aware of, you know, we need to have some kind of uh, 
good way to wrap up the, the series and uh, make it a likable series finale for all the fans that have supported us for this long. I'm not saying that they don't have that in mind, but what they are really focusing on, and this is key when you're writing a TV show, is what can I do in each season that will make people want more? What can I do in every episode that will make fans want more episodes? What can I write? Which characters can I include? Which characters can I focus on that are going to make fans want even more seasons? What characters should I include? What characters should I not include? What storyline should I include? What kind of storylines, such as being dramatic, um, romantic, or uh, romance, or adventure, or fantasy, or uh, drama or whatever, what kind of storylines are people wanting to watch, which characters do I include versus which do I not, which characters do I focus on developing, and stuff like that. That is the key when you're writing a successful TV show. And that is, like I said, that is not something that a lot of writers do now. When you're writing a TV show nowadays, writers will know this is how I want the story to end. This is the character that it's going to, this is the character we're going to focus on. This is going to be the main character. And then this is how the show is going to end up ending. And the series is going to end up, uh, this is what's going to happen in the series finale. And that, like I said, is not something Heartland, the writers of Heartland, I don't think, focus on. They focus on what could I do, what, who, what could I write, who could I include that will make fans want more. And that is why they're focusing on George's character because they know if we want Heartland to continue for many years to come, we need to make someone the new main character. We need to make someone the new Amy Fleming. Now, not saying Georgie is Amy. She's not. She's her own person with her own uh, character development, and that is something that they are already uh, fully aware of, and they are developing George's character as these seasons go on. We saw it in season 13 and even a little bit in season 12, and I'm honestly 100% uh, convinced that season 14 is going to be solely about Georgie and her relationship with Quinn and stuff like that. I'm not saying that Amy and Ty are not going to be in season 14. I'm not saying that. But Amy, uh, Lou, Jack, all of them, Ty, all of them, Lisa, name a Heartland character, they are all going to be supporting characters to now who is the main character and that is Georgie. And that is why I think Heartland could make TV show history by being the longest running TV show of all time because they are not stopped by the idea of this is how we want the show to end, this is what's going to happen, this is the storyline we're going to follow. They don't, they don't have that in mind. What they have in mind is how long could we keep the show going, what do we need to include to make it more entertaining, who do we need to focus on, and what will make fans happy. They don't have a end goal in mind, as far as I can tell, by the writing format. They are focused on the generations of writing. So, for example, it went Jack, Amy, now it's Georgie, eventually it, uh, it'll be Lindy, uh, Lindy's kids, Georgie's kids, so on and so forth. And that is the key to a very successful TV show. But with that being said, I'm going to go. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Drop a comment down in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to help me reach the goal of 20,000 subscribers. With that being said, I'm going to go. Good.